Hello, time travelers, and welcome back to the guy with camera sitting in the past show. All right, we finally made it. It's spooky month. Because it's spooky month, I figured we could take the time to go and explore some of the spooky, creepy, terrifying content that YouTube has provided us over the years. However, one thing to know about me, I don't handle spooky content very well, especially jump scares. So I found it's quite a conundrum enjoying spooky content while also scaring easily. But alas, that's the human that I am, so I have to learn to deal with it. But thankfully, to help people like me, there's tons of creators out there that will talk through all the various horror type content that's on YouTube. Channels like Nexpo, Pixels After Dark, Windagoon, I probably mispronounced the last one, are some awesome examples of people that go into depth about this horror type of content. They explore the lore, they explain all the intricacies that you may not even notice yourself. And they definitely help scaredy cats like me that can't handle this type of content to still enjoy the analog horror and ARGs of the internet. I bet you're thinking I'm going to do commentary on someone's video essay about analog horror. Like some sort of commentary inception. Because I'm too scared. No, 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 no. This is my channel, so I'm not letting myself off that easy. So I'm going to suffer just for you. Because that's what you'd want. Sitting there in the future, getting a kick out of watching me suffer. You mean little sicko. But before we get into the juicy stuff, let's start with a little backstory. So the very first introduction that I had to analog horror was a channel called Local 58. Some of you may have heard about it. It's a pretty straightforward analog horror series. The channel launched back in 2017 and they posted various videos up until about a year ago. But as you go through and you watch the videos and you look a little bit deeper, you realize there's a lot more going on beneath the surface as the broadcast intrusions get more and more disturbing. See, I can make a creepy face too. So after my adventure watching Local 58, I got a little confidence boost. Hey, I survived that one. And it wasn't all that bad. I've got this. No problem. Then I moved on to things even spookier. I watched Gemini Home Entertainment, The Walton Files. I watched Nexpo's entire series on the creepiest things from around the internet, and I survived. Nothing could stop me at this point, so I went deeper and deeper and deeper, but I had no idea how deep the rabbit hole went. I came across the Mandela Catalog through my YouTube recommendations. It looked innocent enough. It looked like something that I might watch. I was intrigued. So with all of the experience I had gained, I was going to take on my biggest challenge yet and watch this series without watching any commentator videos on it first. Big mistake. Just looking at these thumbnails sends chills down my spine and makes me want to search my apartment for entities. How am I supposed to get through this? Honestly, I've delayed recording this video because I'm terrified of this channel. But it's okay, because you're here to make me feel safe, right? Shit, I, I forgot. I'm sitting in the past and you're watching me from the future, so you can't protect me at all. By the time you see this video, it's gonna be too late. Oh well, too late now, let's go. I hope it's not too late. No, it's fine. Don't worry. What's up? Are you alright? Yeah, it's not me. It's my mom. She's knocked out cold and I have no idea why. I'm on my way to the ER, but could you do me a favor? Yeah, of course. What is it? Uh, I just need you to come over and turn on the cameras we have set up. You know the ones that we installed after we were robbed? 
Oh, yeah. Would you mind if I asked why? Oh, well, she screamed really loud right before I found her on the ground. I, I just... Well, do you have your doors and windows locked? Like what the broadcast told us to do? Yeah, that's the weird part. Maybe she saw something? I don't, I don't know. Alright, I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just gonna switch them on and get out of there, though. You know how I feel about your house. Yeah, that's fine. One last thing, try to get a good view of the house. Yeah, no. Fuck this. I'm out.